time I'm by myself, I'm trying out the shit here. I'm trying out the browser interaction. Oh, that looks stretched out. Um, all right, and we're gonna try to talk about the scramblers. It's not like my first reaction um, to this stuff. I'm just going to be talking about um, Grand Blue news and I'm streaming it because that's the way I know how to record this. I think there's a local record, but I, I don't know. Um, here's my reaction to, to, to fucking Relink news. Fuck this. Like, fucking four Dragon Knights is playable. Like, unless you're gonna add, like, the majority of characters in the game. <laughs> like, four fucking Dragon Knights. What a fucking joke. Like, they're fucking fantasy characters. Like, why? Why would I want to play as Lancelot? I can't play as Lancelot in, like, a million games because he's a fucking Arthurian character. Like, ugh. Exhausting. Um, anyway. So that's my first reaction. Fuck that. Like, hopefully the, the JRPG will be better. I like this outfit, but I would never pay, like, the amount of the exorbitant, like, fucking extortionist fees that Granblue charges for their fucking shit um, um but yeah it's uh it's really cute grand noah's nice you know because he's rackham's boyfriend um like you know i'm surprised that he doesn't have an ssr already and this girl seems interesting she has like a, a pacifier which i mean i guess is a, certainly a choice but I kind of like the design other than the pacifier. Um, here we have... Um, she's going to be a free SR from the... Um, Proving Grounds? That's weird. Um, uh, but I'm excited to use her. Um, you know, I couldn't pull her during the year. I started this year. I started in February, so I started like around the anniversary. But you know, so it will be almost a year. Um, she is voiced by I don't know who that is, but she's she's cute. Like I don't know, like daughter material, I guess. Like <laughs> I don't know. She looks young-ish, but um, who knows with Grand Blue? She could be three years old with that design or she could be like 32 I, I can never tell like they make everything so young but like doesn't look young and it's just it's uh, oh my gosh like fucking can they not it's new year skins like i like um her i'm gonna i'm working on unlocking her but I'm, i stopped because I'm thinking I'm just going to let her be my free one because they announced um, somewhere. I want to hear here. You're going to get an Eternal for free? Like, I'm on the only, like, stage three of her bow. Like, I got Theo. And then I was like, uh, actually, if I'm going to spend all this energy five-starring something, I'd rather do it on Sylvia's girlfriend. Um, so I'm thinking, like, I'll just pick this Eternal. I hope that you you recruit them at five stars because otherwise you still have to go through the whole fucking process. Like you basically have to just go through the process of recruiting them twice because that's what it takes to uncap them. You just normally get rid of the bow, the first bow that you got. So it's not really a gift. It's like an early taste of, of the character, you know, if it's not a full fucking release, but I wouldn't buy a new year skin. To be honest, uh, I'm just not. Skins are really expensive in this game. It's like thirty dollars for one skin. I'm like, I could just buy a bunch of indie games. Like, like for the most part, it's very rare. Like, Grand Blue's tempting me with the um, Orchid and Black Knight combo coming out, especially because Black Knight keeps eluding me. I tried spending so many, so many crystals for her, but here I am. Um, but, um, I, and I am getting the fire beer as a Christmas present from my uh, best friend and uh, subscriber to this channel. 
Erica. Yay. Thank you, Erica. Um, yeah, the chat's still there, but that's, that's not, I don't expect anyone to stream. This is a uh, streaming at like five o'clock and I spent like 30 minutes trying to set this up. Uh, 5 a.m. That is American time. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I love that there'll be like a better raid list. I don't know why that hasn't been, like it shocks me that Grand Blue's been out for almost six years and they're only now adding so many different quality of life. Like, I fairly came in at the exact right time because like, like, like I'm like seeing the change and I'm like, yeah, like I've played this game for like only a year and I'm already like, oof, gosh, come on. What took y'all so long? I don't care about like drop changes. That's, um, I mean, that's important, but it's not, like, and I'm not good enough to do this about content. <laughs> Uh, I, I am not that good at the game yet. Uh, Code Geass event is actually fucking fantastic. Uh, being added to side stories. I really wish they would add the Precure and... Um, I wish they'd add the Precure event, the Cardcaptor Soccer event, because I, I really want those characters. Like, I know Cardcaptor Soccer is, like, the worst SSR. And I still want her because I love Cardcaptor Soccer. She was one of my favorite characters growing up. Um, you know, I wanted to be a magical girl, so, uh, and she had cards. I loved card games, so it was, like, definitely something super important to me, and it really sucks that, like, the girl ones are the ones that aren't being added, uh, but I'd also love, like, if that old Street Fighter event would come in, because I'd love to have the Chun-Li skin, uh, the rain camps raising, who cares, uh, but back to the Code Geass event. I actually want to talk about that for a minute more. With the Love Life 2 event... Uh, also, assumedly coming to the side stories, um, we're going to have um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 12 free SSRs or something like that, right? Because you have 3 from Love Live 1, 3 from Love Live 2, 3 from Princess Connect, and 3 from Code Geass. So you're going to have, like, one of every, every element SSR from Love Live. Um... Then you're going to have three dark um, as, as a total because you're going to have Lelouch and you're going to get um, Karel from Princess Connect and Kokios. You're going to get Suzaku and um, da -da 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 -da. what is it? What's her name? Wind Girl. I haven't even uh, fully uncapped her because my wind team is really strong and she didn't fit. And I wouldn't put her in it. Um, and uh, we have Light Girl. And um, so, and we have uh, Callan. So we have some other elements too. Uh, yeah, and so that's like pretty cool. Um, I'm not at rain cap, so for me, rain cap increasing doesn't mean anything. Um, but, like, it's nice, like, you know, it gives you a whole bar of, of uh, energy. Um, so the Lumberjack class, having Harp and Axe specialty is interesting, except I don't really care about Harps and Axe, like, I don't really have a lot. Um, but I love this art, like, this is actually good art for the girl, like, Femme Protag gets the fucking, like, like, it just gets the fucking worst treatment. Like, so much objectifying art. I'm like, you know you, like, sell this game to girls, right? Like, they do. I know they do. They had a card capture Sakura and Precure event. Those are, like, very big Japanese IPs. I, you know, you can go to Japan and go to the Precure store. It's for little girls. You know? Like, it's not even, like, necessarily for hashtag gay girls like me. I mean, I like Precure. But... Uh, yeah, like I don't fucking know. I don't know what they're doing uh, with their choices on female designs. Um, it's like, well, we still need to market it to boys. We also just deal with the objectification, I guess. Like, I don't fucking know. I, I, I don't like it. I really wish that they would uh, just hashtag do better. 
And like, I'd love if there was an update that just changed the female characters' designs on like every single fucking class because almost all of them need work. But there's some I like. I like like the there are a lot of the tier one ones are perfectly fine, and Chaos Lords like just just a little like they're all just close. Like just change the pose a little bit. You don't even have to make the outfits less skimpy. You know, I take that anyway. <laughs> Anyway, Lumberjack sounds kind of interesting. I'm interested in it. Um, but I was interested in the Rockstar class, and I still haven't figured out how to, like, make it work. Like, I unlocked it. It's one of my first DX2. And, like, I I have to, like, check out some videos or something to really get an idea of how to use it. Because I want to use it. But I don't have a ton of harps either. Um... Yeah, so I'm excited for the 6th anniversary event, like I mentioned. I definitely think that's awesome, giving everyone a free Eternal, even if it is not going to be 5-star. I really hope it's 5-star on capped. Um, but if they weren't... And I really don't think they will give us the 5-star, given that they just give you one gold brick back, and most people spend two gold bricks to 5-star in Eternal. Um, who knows, though? Um... Right, because you get the other 50 per- like, if you haven't played Grand Blue, which I don't think you should be watching this if you haven't, but, um, um, hi Tracy, I guess, because Tracy's not here, um, with us today. But she- she might be the one who's watching. Uh, but other than that, people are probably, uh, Grand Blue fans, because this- this is a new content, this is a news reaction. Um, yeah. Sorry that I'm rambling, there's gonna be a bad VOD here, but- <laughs> Um, I was inspired by the Doken YouTubers. I saw how little work they put into their videos and their content. And I was like, oh my god, I could just make videos. Like, I thought, you know, watching Fire Emblem Heroes content as my majority of, like, my, my video content. And like, like, ah, beautiful layouts, great displays, even news reactions are treated with tender love, high quality. But Doken YouTube, shit, bitch just turns on the, you know, screen record, and I thought, I can do that, I, I can do that, and I'm way more attractive than any Doken YouTuber, so, you know, I can put my little face here, <laughs> so, as objectively, uh, I'm not a Doken YouTuber, but Grambly people, I haven't seen anyone ever do a face cam thing, so, you know, I'm pioneering new content here, uh, and I'm giving them in the style of, uh, boring stuff. The Arkham series is gonna have a new series of weapons. I don't, I don't know what that shit's about. Um, but like, they said they they announced like further up. Like, I think that they're not gonna five star. Uh, uncap, um, like the the Arkham invokers. So like, I don't know what the fuck's the point of these weapons. Like, I'm sure they'll be fine for grids or whatever. But like. I'm not going to spend an Arkham resource, none of them, on, on weapons. I'm sorry. Like, it's so fucking limited. It's such a fucking annoying grind. Um, I mean, maybe it'll give me something to do with my leftover resources from when I was five, uh, like, when I was four-starring the devil. Like, right, like, if I got this, it was, uh, maybe, maybe, if, if it fits just the amount of Ideans and Astras I've already used for fire, I will, I will get the weapon. If it costs anything more than that, like, I, I'm sorry, I'm grinding death now, you know? Like, and then after that, I'll be grinding justice. Um, justice, here we go, I'll be grinding justice, and then after that, um, uh, maybe I'll get the hangman. Just because I already have a bunch of resources from when I was grinding justice. Um, I mean, from when I was grinding the devil, I already had a bunch of hangman shit. Like, I can probably just do a bunch of uncaps on hangman. Um, and like, I also need fire asters for this, so like, it's, like, right, it's, it is a very hard sell. Whatever this is, it is not hype. I mean, unless, unless this is like a separate mode that takes separate tickets and separate energy or something. Um... Battle System 2, March, 10, 6 Dragon, single play, one new raid. Ah, 
Woo. Okay. New event and maybe Reploid set. Okay, then. I don't know. I don't know what any of this is. Like, I don't. I don't even get it. I don't care what the extra fest dates. Okay. So let's go to the day one announcements. I'll scroll through here. There's gonna be a ton of other shit, like between it. You know, good for good for the Ian. Uh, and thank you so much for Cran Blue Ian, which is why I'm showing like the whole thing. I didn't want to just like post up images and a video. I felt like, like here we go. I'm just gonna show you my source. Um, because it's everyone's, it's like everyone who doesn't speak Japanese is source. They're doing a lot of hard work. Uh, my defos uh, deserve some love. Um, sorry, I was, I was like, ah, uh, Vera skin, Vera and Kat. I love them so much. Uh, gosh, I'm so excited to get that fire Vera. It should come in today. It's in Dallas. Um, yeah, so the gotcha pin roulette, I am, like, it's, it was announced, and I'm honestly super excited for the new gotcha pin roulette, even though it will probably not run on any banner I give a shit about, because I already just, like, I, I don't give a shit about the winter banners, so, like, it doesn't mean anything to me. I guess I'm gonna have to just scroll down to get to the news, but I, I'm, I'm interested in this stuff, so, like, Glorybringer and Keigo are the most popular classes, not shocked at all I've seen you know I play the game <laughs> I see who plays and what and Kago just seems like it's the best class um in the game like I don't know I, like like I see like the damage that Kigo does and I'm like I don't know why I don't have Kigo yet I'm working on Necromancer but like just because I thought the outfit's cute <laughs> to be honest because I'm I'm a cute bitch I love pink and I love cute shit I mean I'm wearing cat ear headset and pink pajamas um because again i wanted to come as low effort as possible because i want to make sure people think know that i don't think i'm better than them and that i'm not trying to be better than you i just naturally am <laughs> oh gosh um yeah so i'm just going through some of the stuff i'm not like i don't really care about most of this like statistics and data and stuff I don't know why so many people get the sun. I, it must just be because it's the most, it must be just useful. Like people must recruit the fire bec because I, I personally, I'm like, how would you not decide to get frocks? Like, like uh, God, frocks is so good. Like there must've been some kind of like the sun's character is the best character, super broken or something, but I'm not even, I don't intend to recruit the sun. Like I will eventually probably get the sun thing just to raise my attack. Um, passively with a sub aura but like my priority like i said earlier like i already got devil then death then justice then probably like just grabbing like i probably won't unlock the invokers for the rest um but hangman is fine like he seems okay and um her like i don't know i don't like i don't like harvins they they bother me um Like, and in terms of internals, this, like, this is the number of five stars, this is the number of stuff recruited. Like, I like, like, Theo, but, like, I definitely have been, like, uh, like, I don't know. I don't know if she's worth five-starring. Like, prove, like, she just has that one move that kills a bunch of shit, and that's really all you need. Like, for clearing content. Um, I definitely want Bow Girl, and she's the most popular, not, not surprised. And I want Gun Girl, which, you know, is probably the better choice for me to pick for my thing. But, um, you know, here's some AIs, uh, it's just 30 protections. Um, here's Vera being gay. Um, I think, like, somewhere inside here they mentioned, like, some girl being like, Vera, marry me. And I think that's just so cute. Vera is a gay icon, and like so many of her things have cute girls as her like like, like you know, right on top of Catalina, not just Catalina. And I don't know. I think that of the like Yandari type characters, I think that she's the best written and has the most character arcs. Of course, it depends on the writers because 
Grand Blue Riders are not consistent. I really wish they would credit Riders. I wish I could just see the Rider before I click on something. And then I go, ooh, it's that asshole who write, writes Vera terribly. It's just like a generic Yandari. Um, but I can't... I, obviously, I'm super happy about all these game show rewards. But also, they could have just given us all her rewards. This is just kind of like pageantry to make you uh, have a, a relationship with them. These uh, crit people to feel like indebted to them and feel like you like them. Yeah, so yeah, the new gotcha pin roulette uh, is gonna last like a while. New wrinkles, new wrinkles, new double up your rolls. If you got up to 100. So, like, I don't know if it's a double or nothing. If it is a double or nothing mechanic, I will never go for 200. I'd much rather have 100 rolls than zero. Like, like the chance at 200, um, having a one-third chance of winning is not is not very high. It's 33.3% if you wanted to know. Um, so not very high, uh, your chance at winning rock, paper, scissors. Against a generic AI. In a person, right, you, like, you both have a even chance because you're both going against each other but against an ai it's just a 33.3 percent chance winning right you have a 50 50 chance against a person or like less than that because you have a chance of tying but you know what i mean like you have a 50 50 chance if you remove tie i guess like we're gonna give uh shit for you um for buying the game but like fuck this because like you had to pay money for Dijet. I'm honestly so fucking tired like she should be a free update I should not have to spend money to be a girl and also she should at least be able to replace like girl pro tag um like a boy pro tag in the story mode like unless she does that like she's definitely not worth it I do like the idea of like these video games giving you in-game content like for the gotcha I wish that Fire Emblem uh, Three Houses honestly had like like something for Fe, other than like getting Professor Boy Byleth. Like it, like it would have been cool. Like each shot you got, you got like a character. Like if you got like Time Skip Edelgard and Time Skip Dimitri and Time Skip Claude and uh, Rhea, like for beating those different paths or something. Like it would have been a neat little bonus. Like to go like okay cool. Like I don't have to gamble for these characters that I've got like a connection to. And they like put that extra effort. I don't know. I think it would have been really nice. Um, and it's still like they couldn't put these characters inside the, the roulette. I don't know. I like this Koa skin, and that's that's it. That's all I have to say about that. Um, um, I can't handle the Pride Plus content. I'm very happy about the skill skill jewel change i'm i might just wait to upgrade shit like i might just save a bunch of skill jewels in my stash like whenever i get them now and and wait until they're actually good because like i mean this change is dramatic like and I'm, I'm assuming that this has new percent um so yeah i don't know I don't, I don't know exactly the percentiles here. But I really, um, I really hope. Uh, bonus point shop, I don't know if, I don't know what bonus point shop is. Um, honestly, I just, I, I bet I do, but I don't, I don't. Again, this is like extra hard content. I, I am not there yet. Like I'm in rank 120 something, but I don't, like, I still can't, like, solo Shiva or something. Like, I don't have grids. So, I, I I feel like I just need to be a little bit stronger. Which, I don't give a shit about these holiday characters. They're already out. So, you can already have an impression of them. Um, the potential chef skin. I mean, I'm excited because it looks better than most of DJ skins. Um... I think this is very boring. This thing is a very boring design. I'm not excited, but I guess it'll be free crystals. You know, that's all I can say for it. 
We have Leviathan shit. Um, like they, oh, I think that was like a recap of the news, but I'll I'll give it like another look over here just to see if there's anything they didn't mention or something they mentioned in more detail here. And like, I've looked through this, which is why I'm not like doing that. Jewels must be might be worth a full SSR weapon skill weapon from level one to two. Okay, now I think I get it, like, given that context. So, to raise level 1, um, this is the full jewel, this is, like, the shit jewel. Um, but on an SSR weapon, you're gonna get 100%, um, 50%, 25%, 20% on these, um, 5% on these, which is great, because I was using, like, like, the skill jewels trying to upgrade my Bahamut weapon, like, just to 10. And holy shit, like, it was ridiculous, like, um, definitely, this is a nice change, um, like, still, like, 5% is gonna be nothing, uh, 25% is gonna hit 100, um, so it is, it is a possibility, um, you know, but it's, uh, 20 skill jewels is pretty hard to get. <laughs> So we'll see. I'm definitely excited about that change, though. It's definitely a much, much needed change. I'm very happy about the um, Arkham shop uh, restocking a Evil Light, because now I can get death. Uh, and I don't have to grind Unite and fight as much, because I hate, I hate the idea of having to grind eight characters. Like, why don't people have the Arkham Invokers? Because you make it, like, impossible to get the Evil Lights. Like, five, I, I think they should put the five star on caps, like, like, if you have one, like, that's really, like, I am never going to recruit them all at the rate that they're unlockable. Like, the invokers are way more, like, easy to, like, right, getting, getting t ten gold bricks or whatever is not a, nearly, nearly, nearly as hard as getting evil lights. Like, you're going to play this game for, for fucking ever. Like, new story. I haven't played it. It just came out. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I'd rather not um, look at the video cosplayer. I love video, but I don't like. Uh, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's that for this stream. It's 27 minutes. I talked a long time about Grand Blue. But uh, it's not a surprising thing. This is the first thing I did in the morning. I just like woke up and I'm like, I'm gonna fucking, I should go back to sleep, but you know what I really wanna do? Uh, stream stream my reactions to Grand Blue News from days ago. So I'm doing it. So yeah, thank you for so much for watching. Uh, if you're watching on youtube.com, uh, you can go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the little bell and all that other shit. Uh, you can go to patreon.com backslash Alexis Sarah or patreon.com backslash Tracy Campbell to um, give us money. Um, and if you liked this video, you can watch us on Twitch and maybe I'll do more news reactions if this wasn't terrible, which it probably was. <laughs> Just kidding. I was great. I know I was great. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. It was a lot of news to react to. Um, in summation, uh, I'm, I'm super excited for some of these, like, minor slice of life changes. But mostly, it's nothing new. It's like, maybe the anniversary will have something more exciting. I'm super excited for the Invoker, actually. Um, that's definitely a very nice um, change. I mean, not the Invoker, but the um, Revenant character. So, yeah. I'm super excited for the free Revenant. But otherwise, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Uh, you can let me know what you're most excited for and your impressions in the comment section. If you say something mean, I'll delete your comment. Because I don't give a fuck. So, um, bye-bye, everyone. See ya.